Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? It's a beautiful Sunday down here in Eastern North Carolina. Uh, had a super successful day at Busco the other day or yesterday. Uh, I got sunk. I got hung pretty good. Um, no water though, just pure sloshy mud. Took two can ams hooked together to yank me out. Uh, thought I broke something, but I didn't. So that was cool. Thought I snapped an axle, didn't somehow. So that was cool. But that is not the point of today's video. Today's video is brought to you by Yitta Motor. Uh, the nice folks over at Yitta Motor hit me up and said, hey, if we send you a set of steps, will you do an install video for us? And I said, well, absolutely, send them my way. So they sent them my work address and um, picked them up on Tuesday, but I didn't have time this week to put them on. So we're gonna do it today. So big huge thank you to the nice the super nice folks over at yitta motor for hooking me up with these side steps now these are for a 2008 to 2013 silverado um so this is gonna be an install video for that uh depending on what color they are depends on which truck they go on they may go on the girlfriend silver silverado they may go on my white silverado uh hers is an 11 mine is a 13 hers is an lt mine's an ltz so let's go ahead and crack them open and see what we got they are very, very well packaged. They came, it, I pulled it apart a little bit, but they came just like this. So you're gonna get your nice foam paper here. Uh, and then they're gonna be also wrapped in bubble wrap there. So they're super, super well wrapped for shipping. The box came really, really clean. Uh, no tears in it or anything, no no dents or nothing. So uh, super, super uh, great way to ship the parts. So let's get them out and see what color they are. Okay, so I'm super excited. These are gonna go in the girlfriend's truck because uh, they are chrome and they'll match her truck better. So, look at that. That is really, really well set up. Uh, nice grippy plastic uh, here on top of a good solid metal boards. Uh, they look really well made. We'll take a peek at the other side. So there's all your, you can adjust your mounting points and everything. Uh, this is going to be really hard to film, but I'll do my very, very best to at least keep you up on what I'm doing here. But, uh, oh. also, uh, so two, let's see here, I got two, two parts boxes here. Those look like brackets to me. They're again, very well wrapped uh, individually. So it protects the paint and the color on them. That's awesome. So I got four brackets there, which makes me assume that this is gonna be all the nuts. Nope, more brackets. Ah, brackets for the other side. There again, individually wrapped. Super, super awesome stuff. And then, Nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts, separated into their own compartments. I don't know if you can see that, but they're, this is really, really awesome stuff, guys. Definitely give Yitta Motor a uh, look up on Amazon. Uh, that's where they hit me up on. Speaking of which, I will be putting a link up here uh, to get you 15% off your order. Uh, it will be a code word I'll put up here top of the screen for you 15% off your order when you use that code all right just to let you guys know so really 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 good stuff here uh step-by-step -step instructions with pictures because you know how us red light rednecks like pictures got pictures step one step two three four literally a five-step process guys i mean this really couldn't be easier so let's go ahead and get this project rolling this is kind of my general setup I got my left side mounting brackets on over here with the left side parts, right side brackets, right side parts. And then obviously you can tell uh, which way these go. This is always gonna be on the, well, they may actually be reversible. I'll have to check on that, see if they're actually reversible. So let's get them going. So here are the tools you will need. 14 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, Milwaukee with, or a, a standard ratchet wrench with a 12 inch socket. Uh, it can be short or long, doesn't matter, either one will work. So, step one, locate your factory mounting position. Step two is just kind of uh, basically a, hey, by the way, 
Uh, for 07 to 13 models, there is no factory threaded hole. So they sent you these U-clips that you will insert into those holes uh, for those two mounting points. So let me go ahead and crawl into the truck and we'll find these locations. For reference, this is what they're talking about. This hole is not threaded. So you're going to open up your cover here and you're going to slide that little U-clip in behind it so you have a threaded portion sticking back here. So let me go ahead and grab a probably a pair of pliers and I'll yank that out. I'll get one in. Okay, so this is how you have your alligator clips in. They come in behind through this access hole and they just line right up in place with the factory holes already set in the uh, body of the truck here. Uh, very, very, very easy. They fall right into place. Back out here for step number three, where we're gonna go ahead and be installing our uh, left side brackets there. Um, another uh, kind of hint for the 0713 models, uh, add the flat washers on the hex bolts, um, you know, snug everything up. It's, um, you know, just do it basically, don't ever, don't tighten it fully. Get everything set where you want it and then go back and tighten it up. So let's get that going. All right, so this is the bolt and washer setup I have. Your supplied bolt with an, uh, the washer underneath the bolt head. Another bolt with a washer on top of the body because all your pressure is going to be really, I mean, right here is where all your pressure is going to be from your stepping on it. So that made the most sense to me. So I'm going to wash, rinse, and repeat for the other four mounting holes and I'll get with to have all the brackets on. So this is how it should look by the time you're done. You got one, two, and they will not all be at the very top. I'll show you in a second. The third one over here towards the back is going to be more towards the bottom, which is just where that hole was drilled. And then your fourth one over here. So once you have that done, I'm going to tighten the bottom before I tighten the top. That's what makes sense to me. So let me uh, grab my tools and I'll tell you what size they are. We'll get them all torqued down. So that should be your finished project. Um, I, it is a 14 millimeter nut with a 12 millimeter head on the bolt here. So 12, 14, and 12. So just so you guys know. Let me go ahead and show you the underside of what these look like. This is how it's gonna come packaged, zip tied together with the bolts already in them. Obviously you need to take them all out. You can see the other ones down there. Get these set, get these set where you need them, and then Run them back in. So let me go ahead and bust this loose. I'll get it set up where I want it. And we'll put them on. These are once again 12 millimeter heads on the bolt so you can keep the same setup you had beforehand. So now I'm gonna get my step down, set them on the brackets, get everything lined up, kind of get the bolts in started, shake everything down a little bit, and then run everything tight. What I'm gonna do is give myself basically a hand width between the end of the step and the basically the wheel of the truck. Um, you know, I'm using my hand. Obviously, you can use whatever method you prefer. That's how I'm going to do it just to keep it uh, the same on each side. And then I'm going to crawl up under here and grab my little brackets, slide them over in place. And we'll run some bolts up in it and tighten it down. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and give myself a final measure. Okay, see it went back a little bit, don't want that. So give myself a final measure. That's pretty much where I want it. Lined up with the wheel well of the truck. You can actually go up from the underside and just tighten all your stuff up. You, know, you gotta go back under the truck. So let's get it all tightened up. All right, so I went through, put my Milwaukee gun on level three, tightened everything up, and this is the final result. Now, the real test is gonna be, make sure I did my job, right? Go ahead and open the door up a little bit. I weigh 280 or 220 some odd pounds. That's it. Nothing, no flex, no gift. So, Basically, I'm going to clean up this side, wash, rinse, and repeat for the other side. 
Guys, this is super easy. You need three tools. Screwdriver, impact gun, or a, a ratchet. If you don't have an impact gun, it works just fine. Uh, some kind of torque measurement device. Uh, and one uh, wrench to grab the nut on top of the body mount there. So, we go again. There she is. That's that side done. Wash, rinse, repeat on the other side. We'll check in with you when that side's all done. This should be your finished product. Now they make these for a crew cab, but it works just fine for an extended cab if you don't mind a little bit of overhang back here in the back, which I don't. It'll work just fine for me. I'll show you it on the other side. I did the same finger width between the wheel well. They do give you room to move this in or out some, however much you want. I wanted it mostly covered, but hang out just enough to use for your feet. Guys, this took me a half hour uh, using very, very simple tools. Like I said, you do not need an impact, okay? You can use a, ran a regular standard uh, socket wrench will work just fine. So, that's it. That's the sidestep. Very, very simple. And like I said, a huge shout out to the people over at Yitta Motor for hooking me up with this. Like I said, I will put, once again, that 15% off coupon right there. Give them a hit. Buy some stuff from them. They're really good people, really good company. And I really feel like these side steps are going to hold up great. And the girlfriend, who's five foot one and 120 pounds, says she's actually been wanting these for a very, very long time. So, to the folks over at Unit Motor, thank you very much. Peace out.